Hi, I'm Tina Dabi, AIR1. Uh, I did my BA Honours Political Science from Lady Shri Ram College, Delhi University. I have a range of interests, the serious ones being painting, debating, some amount of social work. Non-serious one, I think, which all of us share, hanging out, watching movies, shopping, etc. Uh, when we talk of prelims, I wouldn't say that there are, you know, one particular book for uh, every subject and every topic because for different topics different books cater better so if we talk about ancient history i only did it from the class 12th ncrt if we talk about medieval history as well uh the same source ncrt class 12th history uh, when it pertains to the freedom struggle in modern Indian history. I somewhat did it from Bipin Chandra, History of Modern India, and parts of it from Spectrum. Spectrum is also good for another reason. It gives you more information, and at the end of each chapter, they've summarized the whole chapter into revision points. So, you know, if, you know, because we all know there, there are time constraints. So if you can't read the whole chapter from Spectrum, you could always go through the revision points at the end of the chapter. If we talk about art and culture, I think, you know, that's one thing which scares everybody because there's no one source. And uh, the only good thing is that nobody is well-versed in art and culture. So like we're all at the same level. So, uh, what I did for art and culture, at Wajiram, some class notes were given. They are easily available in the market, so you could consult that. Uh, Wajiram has also come out with a booklet on uh, art and culture, and the first 100 pages are good for reference. But uh, if you really want to do quickly uh, the whole topic of art and culture, I could recommend uh, Vision IAS's uh, booklet on art and culture. It's around 50 pages, very concise to the point, also has pictures. So I think that's another great source. If we talk about polity, I think uh, Lakshmi Kant is the Bible of polity and I did Lakshmi Kant for prelims as well as mains. Uh, but yes, Lakshmi Kant has a drawback that it's often too factual. But uh, Whatever new is happening currently, we have really good sources from the current affairs booklets published by many coaching institutes and I believe Vajiram and Vision IAS has really, really good current affair booklets. So whatever current is happening in polity, the good part in both of these booklets is that they not only talk about the factual part of it. For instance, if we talk about precedence rule, so they'll not only tell you about Article 356, but also give you its analysis, its past experiences, what has the Supreme Court said. So it's a wholesome thing. So I believe along with Lakshmi Kant, these could prove as a good supplement. If we talk about economy, I really did not consult any book on economy. Uh, I, I completely followed Wajiram class notes and I think they are excellent and they are easily available in the market so you could do that. Along with that even the economy, the Indian economy and world economy changes every day. There are new things happening so again we need to consult the current affairs booklets and uh, Wajiram's booklets or Vision IAS's booklets they are very wholesome because they not only give you the facts they give you the analysis and they even predict that you know what could happen. They even quote good scholars. So, you know, you really don't need, you know, because we don't have time. So you really don't need to read Amritya Sen or Nandan Nilakani. What you could probably do is go through these booklets and you'll automatically get their viewpoints. So that's, you know, like a good shortcut. It will save you time and headaches. If we talk about science, uh, like I was really poor at science, you know, being a humanity student. So, you know, probably I'm not the right person to guide you all for science. So I uh, had very limited sources. I just did the class notes of Vajiram. And uh, since I was not very comfortable with science, what I did and what I could advise other students like me is that I completely focused on current affairs you know, related to science, like, oh, are there some new developing, uh, developments happening on the space front? Like we had the Mangalyan, we, we had the Mars, bomb, uh, Mars orbiting mission. So probably, you know, you could 
focus on what's happening and luckily like that's what i found even in prelims and mains they were only interested in the current developments so that's really good for students like me who have non science backgrounds environment if we talk about environment and ecology i think that's a really hot topic like year by year the number of questions are increasing and it's really unfortunate that students really don't pay attention to it they somewhat ignore it i would highly recommend not to ignore this topic because it will score you brownie points since the others are ignoring it so where they will not score you will score uh for environment i think shankar academy has bring has brought out this very good green book so uh i consulted that and i found it pretty sufficient apart from that even environment and ecology things change every day some of uh, some uh, one fine day the art and uh, art of living culture festival happens and they destroy the yamuna flood plains then uh, uh, on the other day the red book data comes out so you know things keep happening so it's very important that you have a current affairs orientation and believe me in prelims and mains nearly 80% questions are current affairs based current affairs has to be extremely strong if we talk about geography if we talk about physical geography uh, i think uh, physical geography is very theoretical and conceptual and it takes time to build on the concepts uh, i believe to the class 11th ncert uh, which i believe is named of uh, fundamentals of physical geography is very very sufficient and has explained everything uh, very nicely in detail with diagrams it's uh, so i think that's a very good source if we talk about about india's geography i think class 10th ncert is a uh, very uh, very good a uh, geography of the world no one source but a uh, wizard publication has given everything in a very concise form in tabular formats so that may help as well if you we talk about national and international current affairs i think current affairs booklets of vajiram and vision ias are sufficient and you wouldn't need anything more than that schemes policies i think anybody who reads the newspaper religiously every day will be fine with it uh csat well csat is again very tricky and, and i'm not sure if i'm the right person it's 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 all about maths and uh, logical reasoning and i come from a non maths background uh so uh i took coaching in vajiram for 3 months and uh, i used to constantly practice uh, the coaching material they gave so the blue booklets of vajiram i think they are wonderful they have ample practice questions and they have even explained all topics very well if we talk about compulsory language papers of may i think uh, since english is compulsory if you read an english daily every day i think it's more than sufficient and you really do not need to prepare so much for it it was a very easy paper and uh, anybody even if they are from non english background if you are in touch with english like if you read books in english or you're reading the newspaper i think it's very well sufficient as far as the other language paper is concerned i had opted for hindi and i started reading a hindi newspaper just 15 days before the exam and it proved adequate essay oh essay is a very very tricky area also the most neglected area but believe me it's it's like a big big browdy point paper like you score marks in this and it doesn't really require much effort all it really needs is that you practice one essay every 15 days when you start preparing for mains and that is going to be fine and uh, since you know i'm not a very philosophical person like i'm a very normal person who just read the newspapers and just did gs and my optional so i always took topics uh, which were more current affairs based because you know that was one area where i was knowledgeable i was aware so uh, for normal people like me who are not too philosophical in their orientation i think this is a very good thing that you could always choose topics that are current affairs oriented mains so a uh, general studies paper 1 mains again for culture i consulted the same source as prelims which is vajiram class notes and uh, the vision i use booklet on art and culture which is around 50 pages and is very concise it's a good source you you must do it indian history again class 12th ncert or the bipin chandra book 
for world history i think world history syllabus is so so vast so so large that i believed it was almost a graduation onto itself so probably i i just consulted ojha sir's notes of uh, wajirab they are easily available in the market and i think they are very very good they are to the point and they at least